Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, Restreamer. Restreamer is an open source video server and framework that allows you to easily stream videos on various platforms. In this video, we will explore the features of Restreamer and guide you through the installation process on a Raspberry Pi. So, let's dive right in. Restreamer operates as a self-hosted streaming server solution that facilitates the reception of video data from hardware streaming devices or software like OBS. It empowers users to effortlessly publish their live streams to multiple platforms including YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Vimeo, to multiple devices and to CDN servers, all from a single unified interface. Restreamer benefits, be your own streaming service provider. Exercise full control over your data. Harness the advantages of open source software. No licensing fees and enjoy cost-free usage. Restreamer excels at handling diverse video sources, including USB, network, and virtual connections. It seamlessly integrates with external software like OBS and hardware video encoders from Blackmagic and Elgato, utilizing its built-in RTMP server. Moreover, Restreamer boasts an exceptional feature, support for low-latency video through its internal SRT server. Restreamer offers a wide range of output options for your live video streams, enabling multi-streaming capabilities. It allows you to effortlessly livestream on the web, share your content on popular social networks, deliver your streams via CDN, content delivery network, and even stream to custom destinations tailored to your specific requirements. Configuring Restreamer is a breeze. It provides a step-by-step -step wizard that guides you through complex settings, ensuring a smooth setup process. The user-friendly interface makes it accessible for beginners, while professionals appreciate the flexibility and customization options available. Restreamer is the ultimate all-in-one solution for streaming servers. It provides a pre-built HTML player site, simplifying playback for your viewers. With robust system logging and monitoring capabilities, you can easily track and optimize your streaming performance. Restreamer also offers a powerful API, enabling seamless integration with other applications and services. Now let's move on to the installation and setup process. For the purpose of this demo, we are going to use a Raspberry Pi 4 for this project. For the ease of connections, we have put the Raspberry Pi in Argon 1v2 case. You can watch our previous video where we have done unboxing and setup of this case. To install Restreamer on a Raspberry Pi, we will be using Docker, a popular containerization platform. Docker makes the installation process straightforward and ensures compatibility across different operating systems. So, let's get started with the installation. Installation Step 1, Installing Raspberry Pi OS. In our previous video, we provided a detailed explanation of the Raspberry Pi setup and the process of installing Raspberry Pi OS on a micro SD card. We highly recommend watching that video for in-depth instructions. If you are already familiar with the process, proceed with installing the OS on your Raspberry Pi and move on to the next step. To install Restreamer, we'll be using Docker Engine. Docker provides a convenient and reliable way to manage containers. Let's walk through the installation steps. Find the PDF document in the video description that contains all the instructions and commands mentioned in the video. It serves as a handy guide to refer to whenever you need assistance. Make the most of this valuable resource to simplify your tasks and improve your productivity. Before you can install Docker Engine, you must first make sure that any conflicting packages are uninstalled. Run the following command to uninstall all conflicting packages. Before you install Docker Engine for the first time on a new host machine, you need to set up the Docker repository. Afterward, you can install and update Docker from the repository. Set up the repository, 1. Update the apt package index and install packages to allow apt to use a repository over HTTPS. 2. Add Docker's official GPG key. 3. Use the following command to set up the repository. Install Docker Engine by running the following commands. 1. Update the app package index. 
2. Install Docker Engine, Container, and Docker Compose. 3. Verify that the Docker Engine installation is successful by running the Hello World image. This command downloads a test image and runs it in a container. When the container runs, it prints a confirmation message and exits. 4. Configure Docker to start on boot with system. To automatically start Docker and containered on boot for other Linux distributions using system, you have now successfully installed and started Docker Engine. Installation, Step 3, Start the Restreamer. Start the Restreamer by running following command. This command will start the Restreamer container with the specified configuration. Make sure to adjust the volume and port mappings according to your needs. In the end, reboot the system. And there you have it. You now have Restreamer up and running, ready to take control of your video streaming projects. Installation, Step 4, Open the Restreamer. To find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, you can either use the ifconfig command in the terminal or rely on network IP scanning tools. Once you have the IP address, open a web browser on your PC. In the address bar of the web browser, type the IP address of your Raspberry Pi followed by colon 8080. For example, if the IP address is 192.168.1.100, you would enter 192.168.1.100.8080. Press Enter or click Go to access the Restreamer interface. You should now be able to see the Restreamer dashboard or login page in your web browser. To start using Restreamer, go to the admin panel in your web browser and create a user ID and password. After entering the required information, click Register User to create the user account. Keep your credentials secure as they will be used to log in and manage Restreamer in the future. Operating the Restreamer, configuration settings for the internal RTMP server. To start the RTMP server on Restreamer, follow these steps. Log in to the Restreamer web portal. Once logged in, click on the menu options located at the top right corner of the web portal and from the drop-down menu, select the system option. In the settings page, locate the RTMP section. Check the checkbox next to enable RTMP server to activate the RTMP server functionality. After enabling the RTMP server, click on the Save button to save the changes. In the Network Settings of Restreamer, locate the Public Domain section. Update the IP address of your Raspberry Pi in the corresponding field. Once you have entered the correct IP address, click on the Save button to apply the changes. This ensures that Restreamer is configured with the correct IP address for network connectivity. When prompted, click on the Restart button to apply the changes and restart the Restreamer server. This will ensure that the RTMP server settings take effect and any necessary services are restarted. The RTMP server on Restreamer is now started and ready to receive incoming video streams via the RTMP protocol. Now click the video setup. Choose the input source as RTMP and select the RTMP server option. A unique RTMP stream link will be available on screen to send the stream to this server. Copy this link and open OBS. In the OBS stream settings paste this stream URL and press save. Select a video source in OBS and start streaming. Go back to Restreamer portal. In video setup option select the desired video resolution and click next. Similarly select the desired audio settings and click next. In the metadata options give a name and description of your streaming content and click Next. In the end click Save. Welcome to your recently created channel dashboard. Here, you have access to the live video stream and important streaming details. Below the video player, you can monitor the runtime, bitrate, and frame rate of the stream. Additionally, Real-time data on the number of viewers and current bitrate for publications are provided. 
you can edit the audio and video sources, determine their processing, add or update a description under stream settings on the main screen. In the content URL section, you have the option to copy various addresses for your content. You can choose to copy the HLS, RTMP, SRT, or snapshot address based on your specific requirements. These addresses provide direct access to your content, allowing you to easily share and distribute it across different platforms and applications. In situations where something doesn't quite work as expected, you can request help from Datarhe Online Help Desk or on GitHub to troubleshoot the problem using the information from the process report and process details. Video Player Configuration offers customization options for the publication website's player. You can generate embed codes, add a logo, and enable playback features like Autoplay, Chromecast, and AirPlay. It also allows integration with Google Analytics for tracking. The offers a pre-designed publication website that allows for effortless and rapid presentation of your live stream. This website comes equipped with a built-in video player, ready for immediate use. You have the flexibility to customize and modify the different elements of the website according to your preferences. Additionally, you can enhance the website by incorporating HTML code elements to further expand its functionality and features. Save the edits made to the player site and click open to view the site. Publication Services The Publication Services feature enables you to transmit your video output to remote destinations. It acts as a virtual broadcast, allowing you to deliver live video to multiple platforms or individual destinations. You can create multiple services for different platforms, and the process for using them is similar. Simply generate a stream key for the desired platform, such as YouTube or Facebook, and configure the settings accordingly. To obtain the YouTube stream key and URL for live streaming, open a web browser and sign into your YouTube account. On YouTube dashboard, click on the camera icon and create a new live stream by clicking Go Live. Provide a title and description for your stream. Take note of the displayed stream URL and stream key. Copy both the stream URL and key and save it on text document. To obtain the Facebook stream key and URL for live streaming, open a web browser and sign into your Facebook account. Then, go to your Facebook page or profile where you want to stream the video. Click on the Live button to start setting up your live stream. In the Live producer, select Go Live. Under Video Source choose Streaming Software option. Copy and save the stream key and click Advanced Options section. Toggle on Persistent Stream Key. Copy and save the server URL. In the Publication Options section, you can easily configure multi-video sources for different platforms. To add a publication source, click on the Add button and select the desired platform, such as Facebook. Paste the stream key that you copied earlier for Facebook Live. Repeat the same process for YouTube by selecting YouTube as the platform and pasting the corresponding stream key. Once you have completed the wizard to create a new publication service, the platform destinations will be listed on the main screen. After saving the settings, you will see the list of destination platforms under the Player option. To start streaming to a specific destination, simply toggle the switch next to its name to the On position. This will initiate the streaming process and your live content will be broadcasted to the selected platforms. Thank you for watching our videos. We hope you have found them helpful and informative. If you enjoyed the content, please take a moment to share the link and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned for more updates and valuable information in the future. Gadgets Pod. Exploring Technology.